Okay, now we get to problem number six for test one review. A gun is fired at a speed of 500 meters per second at a target 1,700 meters away. By how many meters will it miss the target and what is its final velocity? Okay, what is its final velocity? So we're assuming here is the gun here. Okay, shoots a target here. And uh, from the language of the problem, we're assuming that uh, it's shot horizontally. So we have the initial velocity is 500 meters per second. But gravity takes over, right? So the gun starts going down, down, down. The bullet, I mean, starts going down. And then, so let's say here was the target. Okay, so you were trying to aim for that. So I want to know by how much do you miss the target? How much lower than the target is it? So in order to aim at something, what this is sort of getting at is you have to kind of aim a little up because you know that it, the gravity will take over, right? So it's going to fall uh, below your target. How much below is it? Well, we know that this distance is 1,700 meters. Again, let's ignore the effects of air friction. So the velocity in the x direction will always stay the same. Uh, as I explained in the, the question section of this uh, test review, the x velocity always stays the same, only the y velocity increases, right? So as the projectile is going forward, its x velocity is 500, its y velocity is increasing. 500, so by the time the projectile gets here, you see the velocity is going like this, velocity is going like this, velocity is going like this, right? Its x velocity is always 500. The y velocity is increasing. Its x velocity is 500, the y velocity is increasing, right? So uh, over here, it's mainly horizontal. And then it goes down, it goes down, it goes down. By the time it gets here, the x velocity is still 500. The y velocity has increased. So we don't know what the y velocity is. Right? So the distance, horizontal distance that it's going, we know is 1,700. So x is equal to v initial x t. If we ignore air friction, there's no acceleration in the x direction. Right? So we have 1,700. The initial velocity always stays the same, 500. How many seconds does it take for the bullet to get there? t is equal to? Uh, five, 17 divided by 5, which is 3, and 2 fifths, which is 4, 0.4, okay? So t, in 3.4 seconds, the, gun, the, the bullet will be there. So what is the vertical distance that it will have traveled? Well, now we use this equation. y final is equal to y initial plus v initial y t and minus, what units are we in? Meters, right? Meters, meters. So half of G, half of 9.8. If you're in meters, you do half of 9.8. So you have uh, negative 4.9 T squared. What's the initial velocity in the Y direction? Does it have any velocity in the Y? Well, you're, you're not shooting it down or up, right? So you're just shooting it horizontal. So this one here, the Y direction velocity is going to be zero. Y initial is zero, right? So what's going to happen? It's going to fall below where you hit it, right? So y final, negative 4.9 times 3.4 squared. OK? So 4.9 times 3.4 squared. Negative 56. 0.644. That means it will end up 56.644 meters below the level that it started at, right? So it will miss the target by that much, by that much amount, right? So the answer is 56.644. 56.644 meters. That's how much it will miss it. That's actually not a lot. If you're considering that the, the horizontal distance was 1,700 meters, okay? So there's a little portion, right? So now uh, the next question is, what is its final velocity? Well, in order to know the final velocity, this one, V final, I need to know what is the Y component of the final velocity. We can call it V final Y. 
Which equation do I use? Well, I could use um, the first equation of, free, of a projectile motion. V final y is equal to V initial y minus what unit should I use? I mean meter. So what's the acceleration of gravity? 9.8. What's the initial y? We said it's already zero, right? You shut it horizontal. The final y is negative 9.8 times t, 3.4 seconds. So take the product of that. Thirty-three point thirty-two meters per second. Okay? Its horizontal velocity is five hundred. It has a vertical velocity down. So the negative means uh, it should be negative here, negative 33.32, so it should, it's uh, going down. So the final velocity here is going to look something like this, 500. It's going to be huge. Negative 32, negative 33 is going to be like that. Okay, so it looks something like that, right? So if I want to know the magnitude of that final velocity, I do the same thing that I did in the previous problem. I do 500 squared plus this squared, square rooted, right? So the final velocity, square root of 500 squared plus 33.32 squared. Of course, the negative doesn't matter because the negative uh, is just the square, it becomes positive, right? 500 squared plus 33.32 squared, square root that, <coughs> 501. So the final velocity, 501.11 meters per second. 501.11 meters per second. <coughs> so that is the answer, okay? So it's really not that much more than 500, right? It's gained a little bit of speed. But as it keeps going down and down and down, it's going to gain more and more speed. Okay, thank you very much.